In this episode, we take you to BIS, the old Brambles, at Tomago for a unique shoot. Then we're on to Calliope River, a beautiful place I stayed when I went to Cairns. So the reason this was a unique shoot, though I was on the site for an hour, BIS used to be called Brambles, so BIS is the new Brambles. They called me up and they said they needed about an hour's fly of the premises, um, video and photos, promotional stuff and then some other stuff. And the other stuff was, what I call it is asset protection. So they'd lease this building, so when they hand the building back, they wanted to have a record of what the site was like before they had moved in. So the first part of the fly was this big long driveway. I think it was about three or 400 metre concrete driveway. So what I normally do is fly the easiest part of a mission or, or a shoot, which is to get a good feel of the drone before I, you know, start to go high and over structures. But yeah, not the most exciting sort of flying, but it just, it, 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 this job is here to mainly map out their assets and get some promotional images in between. So here we are back at the main entrance. With this sort of shoot, I've got the customer right beside me looking at the monitor, advising me on angles, heights, what, what they actually want to view. So when you're watching exactly what the drone's doing and doing the fly and you've got a guy, um, you've got to perceive what he sort of wants. So I get a little bit of a brief before I do the, fly, the, the, the section of fly and then now and then there's some deviations to what he told me but he's right beside me so you've got to be really on the ball listening to everything that's going on. As you can see it's all freshly painted building so in the back of my mind I'm also thinking about and talking to the customer about marketing shots so even though we're doing an asset protection now and then, it's like turn to the left and show that sign because that's the section they'll use for their marketing. And when you first arrive on the site, you see the main building, when you're actually doing a fly, you're more sensitive also to everything else that there is around you. It's a fairly big site, and there are a lot of little side buildings and add-ons to the main shed you've got to concentrate as well on. For instance, as we're coming around the corner here from that, asset, looking at the asset, he told me about the big sign on the wall. So he sort of guided me to say, go out a little bit further and um, focus on the, the BIS sign on the back of the shed. So there's the marketing coming in. There's also well being used as their asset protection um, log. <laughs> Sometimes on the shoot there's a little bit of overlap, like where we started from, from this point we'd already done it a little bit higher and more on a forward angle. Now we're travelling down the same driveway but instead of turning left or right here, we go around to the back of the car park and do the car park, there's a little pond there and fence line and 
all these things the customers relaying to me that's coming up that we need to focus on and also so we can keep the video smooth as we can for what our time and budget is. Like for this little section here I could have stopped the video and um, started it when I got back into position but it adds more to the um, shoot the customer's not really worried about it being jittery and moving around and going forwards and backwards because it still shows more of their sight. As a little side note, in a couple of the videos you've seen the drone guy motorhome and trailer in the shot. As soon as I get on site, the first thing I ask is if do you want me to move the van out of the way so it's not in the shot. And and to my surprise, most of the customers um, say no, it's fine. They they would prefer it in the shot anyway. They like to like cross promote or or help you out a little bit, you know these shoots are for my customer it's not about having my motorhome in there but it's like a big sore thumb trying to trying to hide it but they're quite happy to for it to be in the shot so here we move on to the roof inspection part of the shoot normally I'd face straight down but the customer was quite happy to keep it on that angle and um, have it a little bit facing forward So this part of the shoot was all about the assets that were close to the fence and the fence line itself. They didn't want me to do the whole boundary of the fence line because it's only the sections that they would be using or, you know, have access to. So it's no good going along the fence line where there was a whole lot of um, shrubs or bush or trees. So, yeah, it opens your eyes to the customer also wants to keep tight to the budget and also just to shoot what they really need instead of overkill which is quite pleasant at the start of the video i said brambles wanted this shoot or bis sorry wanted this shoot um, before they moved in it's not really they, they've moved in it's before they started doing a lot of their manufacturing so yeah big open space now that car park but it would be full and busy now so here we are doing more roof inspection, customer sets the height and the angle, and I do the fly. They wanted here to get as much as the roof in, in one shot with being as low as we could. And for this building, they wanted me to go back the other way. So we started at the front of the building and flew back across the roof. So I hope you've enjoyed the little bit of insight into um, one of my commercial shoots that was a little bit different. You know, sometimes it's real estate, sometimes it's inspection, and this is like an inspection, but it's to really um, have a, a, a good record of uh, building their leasing. Um, so when they hand it back, um, they've got proof of what it was like. Me, 
So here we are at Calliope River, just in the land of um, Gladstone. When I was heading up to Cairns, I saw this as I was flying through on the main freeway, that's the old road to um, Cairns. Now they've got a big bridge further on. So I, I, I made a mental note of when I was coming back from Cairns because I wasn't in a hurry to get back. I was taking the time, I would stop off it here, and it was absolutely a beautiful stay. They've got a camp this side, or a carrier free camp this side, and on the other side of the river, they've also got a, a camp. And for this fly, I decided to use my Mavic Air instead of using my Phantom 4 Pro I I hadn't had a real good chance to test the Mavic Air and even though I like the Mavic Air and it's a great machine there's still nothing um, like my Phantom 4 Pro I myself can see the difference in the quality of the, the film even though the settings are the same as the the, Fan the Phantom 4 Pro, I can see a little bit of a, a degraded image in the Mavic Air. So even though it's still good footage, it's just not to the quality that I'm used to with my Phantom 4 Pro. And that's not a negative, you know, one's a smaller drone, the other's a bigger drone, it's just the comparison. <laughs> That bridge you can see it, the sort of left end part of the river, is the new bridge across the river for the freeway that the motorway or F1 or whatever they call it, heading up to Cairns. So I hope you like the fly I did for Calliope River, it's a beautiful spot, I'll definitely be back. Now when I got back to Newcastle a mate told me that there were crocodiles on the left hand side or the far side of the river we're looking at here. I was told by a local not to swim on the other side because of the bull sharks and, and be careful with Jack because he could be taken by a bull shark. Um, so I actually did take him for a swim there. I didn't go for a swim but I took him for a swim and he played for a while and then he decided to bolt off and run through the camp and I'm chasing him through because he was only a pup then, didn't really do much with what he told me, he was being an idiot, playing with a bit of stick. He didn't really listen to me so I had him down there on the bottom right hand side of this photo taking him for a swim and then this guy's walking with his dog and he bolts through and chases his dog and his dog was off the lead and it went bolting through and then another couple had a cattle dog on a lead and they were getting angry at me so yeah I um, caused a bit of chaos with my little puppy. So thank you for watching our video, we really appreciate it. Come join us on the journey, either through Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or our website. Without your generous support, we would not be able to produce these videos. So please go to our Patreon page and support us, or go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Thank you. Dream and dive into the sky. Hear the